Hello, welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we will discuss the new Security Center module in the CWP Admin Panel. From the dashboard, you can go to the sidebar and twirl down the Security menu to reveal a comprehensive set of security modules, including the new Security Center. To save time, you can also input the word Center into the Navigation Search field to filter the results, and click on Security Center. This opens CWP's new Security Center module, which is divided into three tabs, Security Incidents, Malware Scan, and PHP Defender. Under the Security Incidents tab, we can see all the incidents blocked by Mod Security. Filters are available to view security incidents by account or domain and subdomain, or you can also search for security incidents by the attacker's IP address. Incidents are automatically sorted by most recent, and show the date and time, account and domain or subdomain, IP address, and access denied for the corresponding mod security rule, ID number, and related tags. By clicking on the COG Options menu, we can choose from options to view the details of the event, whitelist the event, or ban the IP address. If we click View Details, we will see the scan results including date, account, domain or subdomain, attacker IP, mod security rule, severity, tags, URL, and file. Click Accept to close this window. Next under the COG Options menu is Whitelist Event. By clicking this, we add an exception to the rule for this specific event and permit future access. Be careful to only whitelist security incidents that you are confident of their source and purpose. If you need to remove a whitelisted incident from the whitelist, just click the COG options again and select Whitelist Remove. Finally, under the COG options menu, we also have the option to ban the attacker's IP address. This can be used to ban the attacker's IP address either temporarily or permanently, and it's recommended to leave a comment for future reference, such as Website Attacker IP Address. You can set the duration of temporary bans or remove permanent bans in the Firewall CSF configuration file, located at etc csf csf.conf. For more info about mod security in CWP, you can refer to our YouTube tutorial on this topic. Next, we'll take a look at the Malware Scan tab. This is powered by ClamAV Antivirus Scanner, the industry-leading antivirus engine for detecting Trojans, viruses, malware, and other malicious threats. Here, we can perform an accounts scan, web scan, email scan, or custom scan. Below, you can see the dates of the last scan and virus definitions update. Options include checking the scan history, viewing the quarantine folder, or updating the CLAM antivirus engine and definitions. This is done automatically on a routine basis, but if the latest update is more than a day old, you can update it manually to be sure you have the latest release. To conduct an accounts scan, you can just select the accounts scan button to scan all accounts, or you can click customize to limit the scan to check only specific accounts. Before initiating the scan, Click the COG Options menu for General Scan Configuration. This opens the advanced options for all scans, several of which are already activated by default, but you have complete control over all these configurations. Options include All Match – continue scanning within file after finding a match. Bytecode – load bytecode from the database. Bytecode unsigned – load unsigned bytecode. Bytecode Timeout – Set bytecode timeout in milliseconds. Detect PUA – Detect possibly unwanted applications. Detect Structured – Detect structured data, such as social security number or credit card. Structured SSN Count – Set the minimum social security number count to generate a detect. Structured CC Count Set the minimum credit card count to generate a detect. Phishing scan URLs. Enable URL signature-based phishing detection. Heuristic alerts. For heuristic alerts. Heuristic scan precedence. Stop scanning as soon as a heuristic match is found. Normalize. 
Normalize HTML, script, and text files. Use normalize equals no for Yara compatibility. Scan PE. Scan PE files. Scan ELF. Scan ELF files. Scan OLE2. Scan OLE2 containers. Scan PDF. Scan PDF files. Scan SWF. Scan SWF files. Scan HTML. Scan HTML files. Scan XML docs. Scan XML based document files. Scan HWP3. Scan HWP3 files. Scan archive. Scan archive files supported by libclamav. Alert broken. Alert unbroken executable files, PE and LEF. Alert encrypted. Alert on encrypted archives and documents. Alert encrypted archive. Alert on encrypted archives. Alert encrypted doc. Alert on encrypted documents. Alert macros. Alert on OLE2 files containing VBA macros. Alert exceeds max. Alert on files that exceed maximum file size, maximum scan size, or maximum recursion limit. Alert phishing SSL. Alert on emails containing SSL mismatches in URLs. Alert phishing cloak. Alert on emails containing cloaked URLs. Alert partition intersection. Alert on raw DMG image files containing partition intersections. No certs. Disable Authenticode Certificate Chain Verification in PE Files. Dump certs. Dump Authenticode Certificate Chain in PE Files. Phishing SIGs. Enable Email Signature Based Phishing Detection. When you're done updating these configurations, you can either reset the defaults or accept the changes. Then click Start Account Scan to run a new scan. Once the scan is complete, the Scan Results dialog opens and displays the scan mode, in this case all accounts, the CLAM AV version, elapsed time, known viruses, scan date, number of scanned directories, data scanned in megabytes, number of infected files found, number of scanned files, and data read. You can also download the log file by clicking the View Log File. Click Accept to close the window. Web scan and email scan are both similar to the account scan in that you can scan all domains with one click, or configure the scan to include specific domains. Custom scan allows you to scan a specific folder for malware. Click Customize to select the path. Then click Choose Current Path and the custom path is shown in the box. Set your scan configurations, then start the scan. By clicking the Options drop-down menu, you can check the scan history. Here you can expand your table to show up to 100 entries per page. Use the search field to filter the results, or sort by date, type, infected files found, number of files scanned, or elapsed time. When you pinpoint the scan you're looking for, you can either download the log file or view the Scan Results window. Next, let's take a look at the PHP Defender tab. CWP Security Center protects against attacks through PHP code using Snuffleupagus as its PHP Defender core. Snuffleupagus is a PHP 7 Plus security module designed to drastically raise the cost of attacks against websites by killing entire bug classes. It also provides a powerful virtual patching system, allowing administrators to fix specific vulnerabilities and audit suspicious behaviors without having to touch the PHP code. It allows administrators to define different rules to prevent attacks. Based on those rules, CWP offers three levels of security, basic, intermediate, or extreme. And for advanced users, we also offer the option to define your own custom rules. 
For more information about how Snuffleupagus works and its features or rules, please check its documentation at snuffleupagus.readthedocs.io. To activate this defense module, first it has to be installed and configured for each version of PHP running on your system. Click View Details to see your PHP versions that will be defended. Select your Defender mode and click Install Now. You'll see a dialog to confirm this installation, and when you're ready, click Accept. This installs the Snuffleupagus module with the Defender mode you selected configured for each version. However, if you want different levels of protection for various installations, you can click the Modify Defender Mode icon under the Actions column and select the desired level of protection for that version, then click Accept. Select all the versions you want to update Defender Mode for and click Modify Selections. A dialog appears to confirm your settings. If correct, click Accept. If you want to remove the PHP Defender module from any of your PHP versions, just click the Trash icon and accept the confirmation. To reinstall the PHP Defender, select the unprotected version and click Install Selected. Choose your defense level and click Accept. If you prefer to override the preset levels of defense with your own custom rules, select the Modified Defender Mode icon, and from the drop-down menu, select Custom. Here you can input your own set of custom rules. And when complete, click Accept. And that's how to use the new Security Center module for the CWP Admin Panel. For more information, please refer to the following links. Thank you for using Control Web Panel.